Brooklyn, New Jersey, voters decided whether to legalize recreational marijuana for adults 21 and older through an amendment to the state constitution. Now, let's take a look at some of the results that we're getting right now with 21% of the precincts reporting, 67% saying yes, 33% saying no. New Jersey would be the 12th state plus the District of Columbia to legalize uh, marijuana if this does pass. Right now, though, a lot of questions about when exactly people will be able to buy the the marijuana and also what the legal age limit will be. Although the, many supporters of this bill say that this will be a major tax revenue um, source for a very ailing New, uh, New Jersey budget. In many parts of the United States, you're only allowed to leave home for exercise, to get groceries, medicines, and in a few places, marijuana. Sales of the plant soared when the pandemic first hit as people panic bought several months worth of weed. People just don't really have too much to do for a recreational standpoint, um, can kind of make the day go by a bit quicker and, and a bit more interesting. Many states have allowed medical marijuana dispensaries to keep operating throughout the coronavirus lockdowns, while in places where recreational use is legal, several jurisdictions have classified pot shops as essential businesses like liquor stores, meaning they can stay open too. The industry here claims cannabis is now as important to some Americans as milk, bread and alcohol, and therefore should be legalised across the nation. approximately 14 different prescriptions and I would still have up to 12 seizures a day. I used to, have to take two handfuls of pills, no more. While this 27-year-old epilepsy patient in Montana is relieved to be taking medical marijuana. I'm not using it to get any psychological effects off of it. I'm just eating the butter raw with bread. She's considerably more anxious about showing her face and has requested we conceal her identity. Why do you not want to show your face? I am not comfortable showing my face because of 
all the discrimination that has already happened. She says both she and her husband have lost jobs when she spoke openly about using marijuana to treat her seizures. marijuana use has been legal in Montana since 2004, when voters there approved an initiative allowing doctors to recommend it to their patients. However, the federal government still classifies the plant as a Schedule One drug. That makes it illegal for doctors to prescribe it, and it means state law does not protect patients from federal arrest and prosecution.